All right, day three on the Batona. Um, mile marker 25. Officially halfway through. Either by the new count there, I might be two miles actually over halfway through, or by uh, the old count, 25 miles through. But um, halfway. So I hadn't recorded yesterday, I had uh, quite a mishap. Uh, be writing goal zero for sure. My phone charger for goal zero was broken, and my girlfriend, Rachel, was able to bring me one in the middle of the night. And then, unfortunately, there's some incidences at the campsite, which led to me not being able to go to sleep till like 2.30 in the morning, killing my phone again, and not being able to charge it yet again. So, my mom came out. Met me first thing, and got me my new charger, so I should be good from here. But, uh, yep, halfway through. I plan to do another 10 miles today, hopefully. Might try to cut it a day short. Yep. So, gonna eat some lunch, and then go back at it. Well, I just got done uh, purifying some water. Let me tell you, purifying water from ice-cooled, cold stream is nice. During 80-some-odd degree, like 87 degree heat out here today and here's the stream just got done pulling it from in there two Nalgene's so about two liters I just took out of there you wouldn't think you would need this much water but in three miles I drank one liter so uh, a little short on rations and I don't like to take a chance if I uh, got such a, an available water source right there All right, morning of day four. Uh, yesterday, I didn't make a video after I got here. I was literally so exhausted um, from hiking. I did 13 miles, but the night before, I maybe got five hours of sleep, and just all the events that transpired that night were just awful. So I made it here literally by nine o'clock. I was sleeping. Got a good 11 hours of sleep, which definitely need because I'm going to hike out of here today. Uh, 18 miles to the end. I'll probably still camp at the end, but uh, I'll be done. I can say I did it. That's camp behind me. About to start wrapping up. Yes, that is my bag. My pack inside of a plastic bag. That's so spiders and such don't crawl in there and get you when you put it on the next day. I definitely recommend doing it. I'm hiking and I just made a, you know, should be, now I'm in single digits in terms of hiking to the left. Should be like 9.2. But well, you're not going to believe it. They're doing work on the bridge over there. You know, they got me all tore up. For a second there, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to cross it. Evans Bridge there. I cross it and I look down and they got generators running and everything in that water source. And I'm like, man, I waited so for long to get to this water source and purify it. With all that gasoline, I don't know if the filters take out gasoline in it. So one of the guys like asked me, I was like, hey, so I was gonna purify some water out of there. I was like, you think it's all right with the gas? He's like, hell, I got a whole whole uh, cooler full right here. So he hooked me up with a huge jug of water. I filled up three Nalgene's with ice and everything. Great guy, John, thank you. Victory Lane here. I think uh, this is my final little stretch. 
just uh, been a great, great 52.7 miles I just did. Once I come up to this billboard right here. And uh, yeah, it's been great. I couldn't have done it without my girlfriend Ray Ray with all this great gear and knowledge that she gives me. And, you know, she helps me through everything. And uh, you know, I thank my mom and my dad too for you know helping me out in that situation. And yes, 52.7 completed. Trail marker end right there, mile marker zero. Woo! Zero and the trail ending signs. Thank you, Ray Ray. I love you.